Welcome back to Cure of the Common Game today. In deck number 799, we're going to talk about a partner pair. The actual paired locked partners of Halden, Evan Arcanist. We'll read Halden first before we get to Paco. Uh, partners with Paco. Obviously, they are both in the command zone. And you may play non-creature cards from exile with fetch counters on them if you exile them and you may spend mana as or mana of any color huh how do we get fetch counters the real commander of the deck is paco arcane retriever because floofer that's why anyway for five mana we get a three three haste when paco attacks exile the top card of each player's library everybody's put a fetch counter on them and then you get a our Paco gets a 1-1 one, one counter for each non-creature card revealed this way so needless to say uh, both both commanders refer to non-creature cards so that's uh, we got a few creatures but mostly not and it's kind of a split decision here on um I'm leaning heavy toward the plus one, plus one counter side because Paco getting in there, um, you know, in a four-player game, that's, uh, how many counters is that going to be? It's a bunch, maybe? I don't know. Probably. And then we're going to be playing spells. The other part of the deck is we're going to be playing spells that aren't ours. So things that like to do that. But... Before we get to do any of that, we have to fix our mana. Because we have a three-color deck. I say a three-color deck. It's uh, green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. Okay. A little, little bit of red. So, we have our mana fixing. We have Fertile Ground. You'll notice there's no mana elves in here because I'm trying to amp up more on the non-creature side there was a few creatures that i just couldn't help you know uh rampant growth far seek nature's lore by the way nature's lore stock with me has risen greatly since call time since we have those snow duels that are both actual colors uh or or, or i'm sorry both actual land types love them and then into the north as well uh, i've got a few snows of each basic and plus the you know but coiling oracle i, I just felt like I couldn't do without i like zirta druid um, but then of course you know girl signet simic signet talisman of impulse fertilid fertilid fit the theme too much with the one one counters right uh, cultivate overgrowth <sighs> Bonder's Ornament, Team Your Banner, Is It Clue Stone, Ketria Crystal, Ranger's Path, and then our trio of Growth Spiral, Eureka Moment, and Urban Evolution. That should be enough. And even if we don't need, per se, the, uh, the extra lands or whatnot, these are still non creature spells that help us a uh, little bit of card draw faithless looting factor fiction rights of flourishing and windfall no i didn't go crazy with the uh other thing now <clears throat> i figure paco is our that's our dog oh my gosh yeah he actually is but that's our our main win condition is paco in in my mind so we're gonna get there with paco and that's what pretty much the rest of the deck is about. Yeah, I mean, we've got some other stuff. Like, I've got an intent just to have, you know, some kind of air force. And it, it does kind of double with the playing cards, extra cards, you know. But if we just all out attack with Paco, uh, I mean, it's going to be tapped. So burst of strength, we'll put a counter on it, untap it. That's a surprise blocker that's bigger than what they thought. And hey, uh, snakeskin veil, a protection spell, put a counter on it, it gains hexproof. Domri's ambush, put a counter on it, 
and then it, it bites somebody. Stealth mission, put two counters on it, and it can't be blocked this turn. That's what I'm talking about. Life Crafter's Gift, put a counter on it, and then put a counter on every creature you have that already has a plus one, plus one counter. Dragon Scale Boon. It, here again, two counters on the untappy. Hunt the Weak. Counter on it, then it fights. Good old-fashioned Thrive. Just, you know, for all the marbles, I guess. Um, Soul's Might. Sure, why not? Incremental Growth can spread them out. And then, you know, Plain Wise Celebration, because... I really want to proliferate four times. Uh, and with Loyal Guardian, great card. Uh, I love these if you control your commander. We have two commanders, as long as one of them are alive. Hey. Um, Twildwood Scourge. Non Hydra creatures. Guess how many Hydras are in the deck? This one, that's it. Well, no, I lied. Hero's Bane is a Hydra. I keep forgetting that's a Hydra. Uh, Deep Root Champion. Now, this is beautiful. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets a counter. That's kind of what the deck focuses on is non-creature spells. Uh, I do have a spell gorger weird. Cast a non-creature spell, it gets a counter. Uh, Sage of Hours. Now, Sage, I don't know that we're going to be targeting Sage of Hours that much for the Heroic. But we do have stuff to like uh, to get the counters over on it, like the Forgotten Ancient. You know, we can slot them over. We have Bioshift. Uh, we have Simic Ascendancy, all, all that can are good cards in their own right, but they can put those counters over on, on the Sage of Hours. Uh, we got Predator Ooze, because, I mean, why not? <laughs> Zagana Utopian Speaker. It occurs to me I have not. Either I've not built this deck or I've not registered this deck yet because I have like, uh, I think this on Architect, I think I have 575 decks and this card wasn't on there yet. I think it may be in the block of ones I have yet to ha have listed. But anyway, um, if you control another creature with a wound counter, you can draw a card, of course, you know. And that big one is creatures you control the one encounters that have trample and of course you know she can become an 8-8 eight eight, which is nothing too shabby uh rush me about playing extra spells uh but if paco is our thing we really want to give it trample and paco is uh i mean it's multicolor psychotic fury is pretty good so <clears throat> let's look at some removal shall we uh, no red removal. Wow. I just realized that. We have Spell Pierce, Mana Leak, and Negate. That is it for our, our counter magic. <laughs> I love Lignify because it's one of those, if you play it on their commander, it's useless. It doesn't go back to the command zone. It doesn't exile it or kill it or bounce it. It stays on the board, but it's useless because it has no abilities. It becomes a 0-4 tree folk, which probably more times than not doesn't matter. Um, of course, return to nature and naturalize. Uh, etherize, Beast Within, and Rapid Hybridization. Now, we have quite a few non-basic lands here. Uh, they are pretty straightforward. Rogue's Passage is, of course... I don't like to use Rogue's Passage in like three color decks because your land drops are just so valuable and having a land drop that's just pure colorless. Eh. But um, I felt it necessary with Paco. All the rest of these are just straight up mana fixing lands. Let's go through it. We have Evolving Wilds, Frontier Biovac, Ketria Triome, Exotic Orchard. Terramorphic Expanse, Command Tower, Blighted Woodland, Thornwood Falls, Simic Guildgate, Woodland Stream, Yavamaya Coast, Temple of Mystery, Lumbering Falls, Swiftwater Cliffs, Is It Boilerworks? Prismari Campus, 
Rugged Highlands, Kazandu Refuge, Volatile Fjord, and Rhymewood Falls. Yeah, uh, Blood Moon would uh, really, really hurt the deck. <laughs> or or uh, uh, the Homelands Enchantment, I can't think of it. Reprinted in 5th. Uh, Primal, whatever. But yeah, that's Paco. And uh, Holden is just in there in case we need a blocker. Essentially. So, I left my door open. Uh, anyway, $7.99 is on the wall we're there deck number 800 is built it is ready to be filmed uh, I will probably film that today so uh, shortly after you see this one in the next day or two you will probably see number 800 I do appreciate it thank y'all so much it it uh, yeah anyway that's what we've got for today so we're gonna go ahead and shuffle and cut